what's it be like? It's like to be out there. I mean, there was a time maybe you were wondering if you'd be preparing for the draft right now, right? What's it like to be back here and trying to set the tone? Um, it's great right now. Um, glad to be back out there with my teammates, working with everybody. I'm just trying to push and make make the pushes uh, for next season. So. Coach Cristobal said defensively things will look basically the same, but with some tweaks. You, you have a lot to learn right now, or mm -hmm. or what's the install process like? Uh, nothing much for me. Um, honestly, just brushing up on old stuff and just trying to learn more from last year and just trying to brush up and make sure my technique is better. So uh, really just a refresher from last year and nothing new. So. Any different feeling going into this spring camp than other spring camps you've done here? Oh, definitely. Um, it's my last one, so i got to put everything into what I have. So. This is one of the younger teams in the country. What, what does a the young team make in a, a spring practice or in a spring period? What's the biggest jumps that the younger guys are going to typically make in their first spring? Um, really just listening. Um, listening to the older, older people, listening to the coaches, and trying to make adjustments when they can. Um, a lot of people probably come in timid, especially as a freshman, you come in timid, not knowing what to do. Um, just trying to get your feet wet. So listen to coaches and just trying to uh, absorb everything you, you get. So Almost like the first few days of fall camp? Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's, that's, the, that's the motive right now is basically treating spring ball like fall camp right now. So. Who are your leaders going to be on defense this year? Um, I would say like me, Troy, um, all, the, all the people that I mean, pretty much kind of led last year. Uh, I'm returning, so uh, Justin Hollins, all the seniors. And, so. Okay. Christopher mentioned a couple days ago an expectation of excellence and changing a culture within this program. How, as an upperclassman, how do you do that? How do you change the culture and the standards at Oregon? Um, I just try to set an example uh, by my actions or, or by my uh, words. I uh, just try to tell everybody what's going on and how we need to attack and get after it, um, and then go out and, and do it myself. So um, if, if they see you doing it, I feel like they kind of follow in your footsteps and feel like, okay, this guy is the truth and try to follow in his footsteps. So. I saw a video of Fat Mac spot about 505 yeah. yesterday. I mean, what do you think of Coach Fell and the Shrink Frog? Oh, they're great guys. Um, they had us working this off season, um, like I've never worked before. So um, I'm glad to have somebody come like that and come push us like that. So and I can try to translate it to the field. Are you seeing a lot of guys with gains in the weight? Oh yeah, everybody made gains. Um, I don't think anybody really went negative or anything like that. I think a lot of people got stronger and faster. I'm um, just learning from Coach Fell and everything that he's been through and. Um, kind of the, the different coaches and stuff we've been through. I'm just tying all that stuff together and now kind of nipping in the bud and getting this new coach staff. So um, after we after they came here, we kind of felt like they were they were kind of the right fit. And after we got through the fourth program, our fourth quarter program and everything, figured out these guys are really with us and they just trying to make us better. So. Uh, he's full of energy, as you can tell. Um, it's, it, it doesn't matter if it's five o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock at night. He's gonna be full of energy and he tries to instill it in us. So. Can you describe what the fourth quarter program is to you? Um, Off-season workouts, um, season, um, Pac-12 championship, everything, honestly. Everything you do leading into the season um, translates onto the field. So um, as much work as you put in the mo and all the fourth quarter stuff, um, honestly helps a lot for spring ball and everything like that because you get stronger faster. So you get to try to test your new abilities and stuff on the field. Is it more mental than, than actual? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a little bit of both, which is the hard part. You're tired, so you have to think a little bit harder. And then once you're tired, you're like, okay, my legs are hurting and everything, so now I gotta, I gotta work on my mind. So, Jalen, when Leather was in Colorado, they improved somewhat this first year. It was really his second year where they kind of took off. What kind of improvement do you see already from last year? Um, I see a lot of improvements, honestly. A um, big improvement for us is just kind of. Like I said earlier, it's just a big refreshing um, from last year's defense. It's the first time we've had the same defense in a while. So um, being able to have that is a big step for our uh,